Good morning, Mr. Adams. Please come in. Mr. Adams, I will check some of your vital signs. Let's begin with your blood pressure. That's okay, doctor. Your blood pressure is too high, Mr. Adams. This forms a risk for your health. So I will prescribe a drug for you that will help to lower your blood pressure. This drug is called metoprolol. Thank you, doctor. I hope this will help. When can I come back for a checkup? I will see you in three weeks. Good luck. Later that day, two other patients with high blood pressure also visited the doctor. Since the patients all looked the same, the doctor prescribed the same dose of metoprolol to all three patients. Three weeks later, all three patients have come to see the doctor again. Wow, Mr. Adams, your blood pressure has dropped to a normal level. It seems the drug is working very well. I'm happy to hear that, doctor. I'm feeling great now. Oh, Mr. Burke, it seems like your blood pressure has not really gone down. Let's investigate why. That's a shame, doctor. I hope we can find out why it's not working. Mr. Cooper, your blood pressure looks fine again. How have you been feeling? Well, doctor, I'll be honest with you. I've actually been feeling very tired and fainted twice since starting the drug. That doesn't sound great, because although your blood pressure has gone down, you seem to be experiencing side effects. Hmm, how strange. I've prescribed the same drug to three people and each of them responds differently. Yes, I know that. Gender, age, ethnicity and obesity can affect a patient's response to drugs. However, these three patients are very similar to each other. But wait! I've heard of something called pharmacogenetics. Something about DNA affecting each person's response to certain drugs. Hmm, maybe I should order a genetic test for Mr. Burke and Mr. Cooper. If they have a mutation in the SIP gene, the degradation of metoprolol will be altered. And that explains their different responses to metoprolol treatment. I will also ask Mr. Adams to do the test, because he shouldn't have a mutation in his SIP gene. As we have seen, genetic variability may explain why some of us respond better or worse to certain drugs than others. By detecting these differences, pharmacogenetic testing can help us tailor drug treatments to individual needs. The impact promises to be significant, as optimal dosages of many widely prescribed drugs, including painkillers, heart medication and antidepressants, are likely to vary from person to person. Although not yet widely implemented, Pharmacogenetic testing is projected to take off the coming years, ushering in the era of personalized medicine. Created using Powtoon.